Back in Luther headquarters, Lionel returns to the office to find his deranged son holding two firearms and drifting more and more out of reality. Lionel tries to assure Lex that he didn't kill his grandparents. Lex starts waving around his gun more, um, talking about Julian's crying and yells at his father to tell him where Morgan Edge is. I'll tell you what. This was one of my favorite scenes, and it was very difficult to find it because you want to be crazy, but you don't want to go too balls out. And he's like thinking and this and that. And like, you know, there's all these moments that I remember circling, trying to get, okay, you're going to just be a really upset, emotional. And then here you're going to flip out on him and then you're believing him, but then you decide you're not. So all these things. And I remember <clears throat> really get exhausting. Like this scene probably took four hours, three hours, and it felt like a whole day's work. It was just, and then we'll get the whole thing yeah. on Oprah. And, you know, it was just like trying to, I just remember it was really, really intense. And John just being there, just like watching me. And at the end going. Is this, is this the scene that you, you've talked about before where he, he said, are you listening to me? Is that this no. scene? No, okay. that was in like end of season two and with the tornadoes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, those that was a really good scene. I'd written down that you were going full Nick Cage in this scene. In what epi in what show? In, in, no, in this in this scene. Oh, I went full Nick Cage? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was hard, man. And you know, you're in front of the whole cast and crew, and <laughs> you've just gotta and Tom, you know, I've seen you do it. At first, you're kind of finding it, finding it. And it's a little like there's a party that's a little embarrassed in a way, like me, yeah. until I really fi find it. And then I'm like, boom, fuck you. Yeah. Now, I'm, I, now I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. And yeah. I don't prepare for these things other than learning my lines. I find that on the day. I'm going to find that on the day. The level, the loudness, the intensity. You have to let them give you takes to find it. No. You're not just going to do it on take one um it's just not gonna i mean I, I it doesn't happen for me i i recently did a scene on a show um winchester i guess it was last year winchesters and there's a scene where my character you know has a similar situation where he's he's letting it all out and i i did something which i i learned on smallville in some of these scenes where you go i go to the director we have our discussion whenever and there's a point where i go hey can i just talk to you for a second and i say to them i go listen i just need to know that if i'm just not doing it right or i'm not just come in and tell me because I can't be thinking about that. You know what I mean? And usually once the director will come in and be like, I see what you're doing, blah, 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 and it helps kind of focus you. Mm -hmm. And that also, because I have that conversation, allows me to let go of trying to watch it yeah. as I'm doing it. Yeah. And so that's helpful to me. That's just a little thing you that know, I do. You know, one thing that bothered me, I will tell you, I remember specifically, they wouldn't let me point the gun at Lionel's face. They wanted wow. me to point it down at his chest. The CW didn't want any gun Man. facing the face and that to me took away some of the intensity because who would do that i don't know i to me in my mind i want to be like f you i'm going to shoot your face off and i wanted Man. to do that and they kept saying no nope, lower the gun lower the gun i do remember <laughs> that 